Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Flying Fids. There are a ton of unnecessary products out there that are marketed towards birds that you should not waste your money on. And some of these products can actually be really harmful or even dangerous to your bird. So here are the 16 bird products that you should avoid. The first bird product they should avoid getting are small bird cages. Birds are going to need their own living spaces and it has to be big enough to allow your birds to stretch their wings and hop or fly from perch to perch. It also needs to fit a water and food bowl, multiple perches and toys to keep your bird happy and busy. If you look at all these small bird cages, it's probably just going to be big enough to only fit a water and food bowl, maybe a couple of perches and one to two toys. Your bird is going to feel very cramped and will be very unhappy. Small bird cages are cheaply made and it's also very cruel to keep your bird in a small bird cage. If you have a small cage like this, please please invest in a nice sturdy and spacious cage for your bird with the appropriate bar spacings of course and I promise they'll be much happier. Pesters also have larger tabletop cages like this one that I have which is a lot better than these smaller bird cages but it's best to spend a little extra on the larger flight cages like this one that I'm getting because it'll be a lot sturdier and a lot more spacious so you can fill it up with lots of fun toys for your birds. Moving on to the cage accessories that you should avoid getting. And the second bird product that you should not get are dowel perches. Dowel perches are almost always provided with any bird cage that you buy and they are uniform in shape and if you only have dowel perches in your bird's cage, your bird can develop bumblefoot or pressure sores on their feet because they're constantly gripping a surface area with the same parts of their feet. Not only can dowel perches cause bumblefoot and pressure sores, it can also cause your bird to develop arthritis over time because the birds aren't able to exercise their feet properly with dowel perches. Now it's okay to have one dowel perch in your cage but all the other perches should be natural wood perches where they can not only exercise their feet with the different diameters, natural wood perches would also provide your birds the opportunity to nibble on the different textures of the perch which can be really fun too. The third bird product that you should not get for your birds are sand perches sand perch covers and also gravel paper liners. Sand perches are meant to follow your bird's nails as they grip onto it but because of the rough texture of sand perches it can be very uncomfortable and very abrasive which can cause your bird to develop or get little cuts on their feet which can lead to infections. This is also the same for perch covers which can be even worse because it's meant to cover dowel perches and the combination of rough textures and uniform diameters is terrible on your bird's feet. The same goes for gravel liner papers. These are such a complete waste of money because it's meant for your birds to walk all over and your bird's gonna poop on it so it's made to be replaced very often. It's most definitely another opportunity for your birds to get cuts on their feet and develop infections. There are sand perches out there that are only rough on the sides so you can get those for your birds if you'd like or you can stick to providing different natural wood perches for your bird and even consider going to your avian vet to help trim your bird's nails or do it at home if you're confident enough and I do have a video on how to trim your bird's nails if you want to check that out. The next item that you should avoid getting for your birds are rope perches or boings. Rope perches and boings are a lot softer on your bird's feet which is great but if your bird tends to bite on rope perches or boings with the frayed ends your bird can potentially be eating tiny rope fibers that will cause crop impact over time. And the only way to treat crop impactions is through surgery, which will not only cost a lot, it is also very dangerous to your birds. If a loose strand comes undone because your bird destroys the rope perch or boing, there's a chance that they can actually get themselves tangled up in the loose end and strangle themselves. They could also get a foot or toe trapped in the strands and freak out and maybe bite their toes off to free themselves, which is very traumatizing and they can also lose a lot of blood. So you really need to inspect any rope perches or boings that you may have in your bird's cage or only have them outside of the cages where you can supervise your birds. Some bird owners also like to wrap their rope perches with vet tape, which you can also do just to be safe. Moving on to sleeping products. Birds look very cute in happy huts, but just like rope perches, if your birds like to chew on their happy huts, which is almost always made out of fabric, there's a chance of crop 
crop impaction over time and also entanglement and strangulation from loose threads. Happy huts are also very reminiscent of nests because it envelops your bird's bodies and are cozy and small which can cause hormonal and territorial problems in birds. Happy huts can also cause female parrots or hens to start laying eggs which is very demanding on their bodies and also dangerous because there's a risk of egg binding and other problems that come with egg laying. If you absolutely feel that your bird needs a happy hut, there are natural rope ones that you can get, but just be mindful that although the risk of entanglement is removed with natural rope huts or tents, there's still a very high chance of your bird becoming very hormonal. And like happy huts, the next bird product that you should not get for your birds are nesting boxes and nesting materials. The sole purpose of getting nesting boxes or nesting materials is to breed your birds. And no, your bird doesn't need a nesting box to sleep in. A flat perch will do just fine. Breeding birds is not something an amateur breeder should do because it is a lot of work. Birds need to be in optimal condition to even breed in the first place and you also need to be very knowledgeable in what to feed adult birds in order to breed them and how much to feed the chicks, what temperature the food needs to be, and what to do if and when the adult birds reject their chicks and a bunch of other things that I wouldn't know how to do because I don't know how to breed birds. There are also a lot of adoptable birds that are looking for good homes so please leave the breeding to the professionals. Moving on to toys that you should avoid getting for your birds. The first toy that you should not get for your bird are cotton rope toys. These toys were designed for your bird to preen and nibble on. So if your bird is attracted to the cotton rope strands in these types of toys, then similar to rope perches and happy huts, there is for sure a possibility of crop impaction and entanglement. You're much better off sticking to toys with natural or shreddable materials that your bird can actually destroy. The next bird toy that you should not get for your birds are anything that has metal bells. Birds tend to like the sounds that bells make and they usually will bite at the metal clapper inside the bell and if you take a closer look you'll see that there's a gap in the metal that attaches the clapper to the bell and it's very sharp. There have been instances where birds get their beaks stuck and end up cutting their beaks or tongues because of the metal bells. There are a lot of good natural toys that your birds can shred up and sometimes it does come with bells so you can remove them if you have any of those but you should definitely stay away from getting bird toys with bells if you can in the future. If you still want to get bells for your birds, you can either get the long bells where your birds can't reach the clapper inside or get toys that come with stainless steel measuring cups that are really fun too. The next bird toy that you should avoid getting for your birds are anything with mirrors. Parrots are incredibly smart, but they can't recognize themselves in mirrors. So instead, they actually see their reflections as another bird which can be psychologically damaging. If a bird is obsessed with their own reflection, they will develop behavioral problems if the mirror is removed. If you feel that your bird is lonely, then there's definitely the option of getting another bird that your bird can bond with, but it's best to avoid giving your bird a mirror in place of a bird companion. Moving on to bird treats. You should avoid getting any bird treats that are covered in yogurt or honey or whatever else bird treats are covered in and you're better off sticking to the millet or treats just as they are. Birds are lactose intolerant so they can't digest the lactose that is in dairy products like yogurt and they can also get diarrhea or develop an allergic reaction to dairy products. Honey sticks or treats are also loaded with lots of sugar to help the seeds stick together and even onto the stick and honey sticks are usually very large so if you place these in your bird's cage they'll likely avoid their healthy food and just eat all of the seeds on the stick. Too much sugar can also trigger hormonal problems in birds which isn't what you want. So for this next bird product it's not a bird treat but it's something that is supposed to help with digestion in some birds and that is grit. Grit is made up of different ingredients usually minerals, rocks, or a shell mix and it's designed to help birds like pigeons or 
or doves that need a little extra help in their digestive tract to grind and digest food because these types of birds usually eat things whole. Parrots don't need grit because they use their beaks to tear apart and discard food items that are harder to digest and if a parrot is fed grit, it'll just collect in their crops and you guessed it, crop infections. So don't feed your parrot grits, they absolutely do not need it. The next bird item that you should avoid are plastic bowls or plastic water tubes. Plastic food bowls are another item that usually comes with bird cages when you buy them and you should either throw those out or use it for something else that is non-food related like maybe a cup to hold any foot toys because plastic is very porous and it very easily harbors bacteria that can make your birds sick. Plastic food bowls would also need to get replaced more often so you're going to end up spending more money. So the better option is to use stainless steel or ceramic food bowls. Moving on to health and wellness related bird products, you should avoid getting any vitamins and supplements for your birds. If your bird is on a healthy diet, whether it's mostly vegetables, some pellets and seeds, or a combination of pellets and veggies and seeds, your bird should be able to get an adequate amount of vitamins and nutrients from the pellets that they are eating. Vitamins and supplements can cause overdose in parrots and you should only use any additional supplements that your avian vet suggests for your bird. Vitamins and supplements that are added to your bird's water can also cause it to spoil faster, so just stay away from that. Another health and wellness product that you should definitely avoid are dewormers and any similar medications that you can buy online. Dewormers or worming products are used to remove parasitic worms that birds might have in their body and pet birds can get parasitic worms if they ever come in contact with a wild bird that has parasites or even wild bird poop. So before you consider giving your bird any type of medication available online or in pet stores, please, please ask your avian vet so they can see if your bird even needs worming medication in the first place. You should definitely avoid buying any bath sprays and bird shampoos. Bath sprays and bird shampoos are filled with chemicals that can be very irritating to not only your bird's skin and eyes, your birds can also breathe the chemicals in, which is terrible. These sprays and shampoos are marketed to help with molting, keeping your bird's feathers healthy and vibrant, and to deep clean, which are all unnecessary and a waste of your money because water works just fine. You want to provide your bird the option of bathing whenever it wants to, which will help with any irritation that comes along with molting, and it can help keep your bird's feathers stay clean and healthy. And lastly, you should avoid getting any bird litter for your bird's cage. One way to tell if your bird is sick is by observing your bird's poop, and it's very hard to look at your bird's poop if you use bird litter because it just mixes in with the litter so you can't really tell what you're looking at. There are so many different bird litters out there like wood shavings which can be scented and irritating to your birds and corn or walnut shells which can be a breeding ground for mold and bacteria and any litter can cause crop infection if your bird ingests it. It's better to stick with regular paper whether it's newspaper, butcher, or craft paper or paper towels because it's much safer and it's also also a lot cheaper. Like this video if you found it helpful and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more bird related videos. So I mentioned a lot of bird products that you should avoid getting for your bird but comment down below and let me know if there are any other bird products that you should avoid getting especially if it was something that I haven't mentioned in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.